Is this now the most powerful weapon in this game? Well people, it's definitely up there. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more Borderlands. So the Yellow Cake is an exclusive weapon to the Revenge of the Cartels event and it's manufactured by COV. It drops off in radiation only but don't let that put you off nor because it's a COV weapon either because this thing is an absolute monster of a weapon. Now this weapon as far as I'm aware drops only upon the Villa Ultraviolet from enemies that are Fish Slap, Tyrone Smollins and the boss of the Villa Joey Ultraviolet. Now the variants you can see on screen now I have both dropped from me on Mayhem 10 and both are top tier variants offering two of the best new anointments, universal anointments in the game. One you gain 300% increased damage against enemies above 90% health and the other one while action skills are active weapon damage is increased by 200% which is crazy. So what this weapon actually does is you fire a single projectile which then splits into two. Those two then split into a further two so you can get four in total which all explode and do crazy damage. And like I said the damage this thing is capable of is literally off the charts. It also comes with an absolute crazy splash damage radius too, as well as or close to a 30k per second chance, which is just crazy as well. You can see on screen now this thing and its damage numbers via a build with my Zane where action skills and so much more ain't even coming into play and it's just into the millions. You can also see what this does to bosses too. All of this by the way people is on Mayhem 10 I will add. <laughs> Now if we go back to the old Mayhem 4 and see what this does, it's just crazy. You can truly see what Mayhem 10 weapons are capable of when they're this powerful. I mean bosses just don't stand a chance. Don't say I didn't warn you! Ta-da! Real this time! Now if the weapon is used correctly it deals much more damage and it comes to it with trying to judge the range in which it spawns its most projectiles which isn't easy and to be honest it isn't efficient in most cases but if you can get it down it deals stupid damage but again that really isn't necessary for this to be an incredible weapon it's already an incredible weapon. Now with the addition of extra ammo being patched into heavy weapons it truly makes for this thing being an actual contender for your loadout. I mean mine holds 36 shots all being as consistent as the other and to be honest there ain't many places you need more than 36 shots in this thing if I'm totally honest. I haven't been anywhere on Mayhem 10 where this thing hasn't wrecked everything so it's definitely a contender for one of the most powerful weapons in the game right now I'm 100% certain on that. But yes the yellow cake people is an absolute must of a weapon I do recommend you trying to get. Again from what I have seen it drops from Fish Slap, Chiron Smollins, and the boss of the villa, Joe Ultraviolet. I mean, it could be a world drop upon the villa Ultraviolet, but upon my research and everybody I've spoke to, it's either come from one of these three enemies. So do what you gotta do, people, to get your hands on this thing. You will not be disappointed with it. Try and look for a decent anointment on it too. I do recommend one of the ones I have here if you're not looking for something specific for your build, because these two are truly incredible with this thing. I mean, the one where it deals 300% increased damage against enemies above 90% health, more or less means it can one shot many, many bosses, or close to one shot many, many bosses. I mean, if you got both of these, I mean, you could use one, you could use the 300% increased damage against enemies above 90% health, and then quickly switch to the other one of gaining 200% damage while your action skill is active. I mean, that's the perfect combo right there. Add on to it with an artifact and a class mod, which helps heavy splash damage and maybe something to do with COV, and you are good to go. But yeah guys, my thoughts on the yellow cake, it's definitely a must get, it's definitely one of the most powerful weapons in this game. I mean I love the OPQ system, I made a video on it yesterday, I asked if it was the best weapon this event offered. I'm kind of in two minds now, now I've tested this. But yeah guys, those are my thoughts on the yellow cake, go get this thing. 
But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.